A lot of people think that being happy is only for outgoing people. That in order to feel joy, you need to be around other people, socializing all the time, and filled with energy from the outside. That is simply not true though. If you want to meet deeply happy and fulfilled people, look no further than introverts. So how are happy introverts different from those who feel like the world doesn't understand them or wears them down? Getting through common problems and avoiding these pitfalls is often what it comes down to. Some people try to be someone they're not. Introverts may feel under a lot of pressure to conform in a world that values those with the loudest voices and the most outgoing personalities. This pressure could be caused by an inner critic who questions your quiet nature, friends who want you to come out of your shell, or even the false belief that success requires outgoing behavior. In an effort to fit in, you might try to adopt behaviors that simply don't feel real. But there is a high price to pay for this act of lying. Constantly trying to be someone you're not can lead to exhaustion, anxiety, and even missed opportunities that would have been perfect for your more introspective personality. Most of the time, introverts who are happy learn to work with their personality instead of against it. Being aware of yourself is the first step. They set aside time to think about what really makes them feel good and what makes them feel tired. For those times in the past when they tried to conform, they give themselves compassion and forgiveness. They embrace the power of strategic socializing and look for ways to connect with others that meet their needs, such as through smaller groups, one-on-one -on -one conversations, or activities centered around shared interests. That's not all. They also rethink what their strengths are as introverts. True value is found in their ability to focus intensely, listen carefully, and think critically. They let these traits stand out in their lives and saw how their sense of happiness grew. 2. Not taking into account their need to recharge. Introverts need alone time in order to function at their best, not just enjoy it. In contrast to extroverts, who recharge by socializing, introverts recharge by withdrawing. Their brains are set up in this way. They take a lot of time to process information and get easily overwhelmed by outside stimuli. Being alone gives introverts the time and space they need to reset their minds and bodies. People often get the wrong idea about how important it is for introverts to have time to relax. When introverts simply want to withdraw for a while, they may be labeled as antisocial, distant, or even unfriendly. This can lead to guilt or a sense that they need to explain their need for space, which makes the problem worse. The happiest introverts know that taking time to recharge isn't a luxury, it's a must. Their recharge rituals are what really help them relax and get their energy back. It could be anything from reading to taking a slow walk in the woods to working on art projects or simply sitting quietly. To recharge, there is no right or wrong way. They plan for it to happen. They don't just hope that quiet time will appear out of thin air. They make it a point to have it every day. If you need to start small, even 15 minutes of quiet time by yourself can help. They let family, friends, and coworkers know what they need. They are honest about the fact that they are shy. They appreciate a straightforward response like, sometimes I need a little quiet time to process my day. Once they really feel tired, they politely turn down invitations. It's not selfish to do this. It's self-care. If they really mean it, saying, I'd love to, but I need some downtime right now, will make them feel much better than going to an event because they have to and being miserable there. Third, they say sorry for who they are. Living in a world where some people misunderstand their quiet nature, introverts may feel under pressure to apologize just for being there. This could show up as harmless phrases like, sorry, I'm not very talkative, or, I hope this isn't too awkward. Not always, but sometimes, these apologies are said outright. This kind of behavior is often caused by a mix of internalized societal expectations and the idea that being shy is a flaw. Constant apologies come at a high price. An introvert reinforces the idea that there's something wrong with them every time they say sorry for being introverted. The ability to fully own one's place in the world may be hampered by this, 
which can also reduce self-confidence. In addition, it gives power to those who may not understand how introverted communication works. While the happiest introverts let go of their apologies and embrace a quiet confidence, their natural way of being in the world isn't something they should be ashamed of. It's something that makes them strong. They fight their own inner critic. When they want to say sorry, they gently change the way they talk about it. They think, I'm sorry I'm a bit quiet, but instead they say, I'm taking the time to listen and process my thoughts. They know how much they're worth. What they bring to the table, they remind themselves. Are they a keen observer, a thoughtful thinker, and someone who makes others feel heard? These traits are important to them. Instead of performance, they focus on connection. There was no longer any pressure on them to always perform or be entertaining in social situations. Being their true self, even if it's a little quieter than usual, is often the best way to connect with someone. 4. Making comparisons with outgoing people It's easy for introverts to feel like they're not good enough when society constantly praises outgoing traits like being brave, frequent social interactions, and quick-paced conversations. This can lead to a cycle of comparison that is detrimental. Introverts may find that they question every interaction. I should have talked more in that meeting. I want to know if they think I'm distant. What's worse, is there something really wrong with being this way? There's a problem with comparison, it never ends well. You're taking your inner world, which is complex, unique and rich, and comparing it to how others perform on the outside. The standard is too high to meet, and it makes you doubt your own strengths, which takes away your joy. While the happiest introverts learn to change their focus from comparison to self-appreciation, this is how they figure out how brains work. It's simply a different way for their brain to process information. Introversion is not a character flaw. To help them deal with their feelings that something is wrong with them, they learn about the science behind introversion. In honor of their unique strengths, they celebrate them. In place of comparison, they have a deep appreciation for what they bring to the world. Do they listen with compassion, solve problems carefully, and be a loyal and helpful friend. They actively remind themselves of their strengths by writing them down. They talk about their successes. They recall times when their introverted traits worked in their favor, such as when their ability to focus resulted in success on a work project, or when their deep listening helped forge a close friendship. Sometimes, they don't give themselves enough credit for what they can do. Overthinking social interactions. For introverts, the excitement of a social event can wear off quickly, replaced by a constant inner monologue that goes over every word and interaction over and over again. Did that joke not go over well? I can't believe I mess up my words. It's possible that my silence made them feel that. This kind of overthinking is common and results from a mix of self-consciousness and the tendency for introverts to process information thoroughly. Overthinking is a two-headed problem. First of all, it's tiring and can take the joy out of an otherwise perfect interaction. The analysis is also frequently flawed. We're the harshest critics of ourselves, focusing on what we think are our flaws and missing the good parts of the exchange. This makes it hard to see things as they really are, which makes social anxiety worse. It takes a mix of compassion and mindfulness for the happiest introverts to stop overthinking. This is how they quiet the critic inside. They make awkwardness seem normal by understanding that everyone, even the most outgoing person, has awkward moments as a normal part of being human. Recognizing that these lapses do not define their social abilities, they give themselves permission to laugh off any minor mistakes. People who are introverts remind themselves that others are not as focused on them as they might think. Most people are more interested in their own actions and words, which means that any comments or actions that introverts might worry about are probably not noticed by others. Being mindful is a big part of how they do things. They avoid getting lost in replays of the past or worries about the future by focusing their attention on the present moment, whether it's through noticing physical sensations, the sounds around them, or the feel of the ground beneath them. One of the most important things they do is practice breathing. 
Taking a few deep conscious breaths can help you relax a lot, triggering your body's relaxation response to reduce stress. Kindness and understanding are used instead of critical thoughts when they practice compassionate self-talk. They remind themselves that they gave it their all in a stressful situation, or that feeling anxious is a common occurrence and not a sign of weakness. There are a lot of ways that introverts save the world without anyone noticing. Their thoughtful points of view bring much-needed balance to the chaos of noise and activity. Their ability to really connect with others makes relationships strong and real. Their ability to concentrate and focus for long periods of time brings about original concepts and important work. To do well, introverts need to learn to value themselves and deal with the world on their own terms. My friend, introversion is not a flaw that needs to be fixed. It is a beautiful and powerful way to be in the world. The happiest introverts are aware of this and learn to work with rather than against their personality traits. Introverts can reach their full potential and live rich, fulfilling, and truly joyful lives by avoiding the pitfalls we've talked about and fostering their innate joy. Please let me know if you want me to add anything or talk about a certain subject. In today's video, I hope you learned something useful. If it speaks to you, please share it with someone else who could also use it. Please feel free to leave your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories. Always, I hope you have a wonderful day.